morning, Roosevelt. Today is Monday, November 5th, and Abby with the joke of the day. So, Andre, what has a lot of keys but can't open any doors? The janitor. <laughs> a piano. <laughs> <laughs> okay, senior girls. As you all may know by now, there is a proposal that girls wear gold caps and gowns at graduation, while boys wear black. All girls are encouraged to go to talk to Cecilia in the attendance office to cast a simple vote of yes or no. Don't bring a story. Voting will end on Friday, so be sure to get your voice heard. Students, our leadership students are partnering with the American Red Cross to do a blood drive on November 27th. With the recent crisis with Hurricane Sandy, we'd like to do our part to help those victims who are less fortunate than us. If you are 16 years old, you can donate blood with parental permission. A form you can pick up from Coach Mack. And if you are 17 and up, no permission is needed. So talk to Coach Mack about registering. We're aiming for 70 donors. Please do your part to help us reach our goal. Students, please remember that there is no food or drinks in the hallway. A staff member slipped on some food left on the stairs and hurt her back. Let's avoid incidents like this and keep up after ourselves. Congrats to Varsity Football for winning against Pendleton. 43 to 35 on Friday. Woo! This coming Friday the 9th, we play Springfield High School. Come show on our riders as we advance further in the playoffs. Junior, sophomore, and freshman student government officers need to meet after school today briefly in Coach Mack's office to talk about an upcoming food drive. Today's word of the day, inevitable, unavoidable, or certain. Given their past history of failure, the team's loss in the championship game seemed inevitable to many fans. And remember, as writers, we excel academically, act respectfully, and live responsibly. And it's, and it's always, always a great, great day, day to be a writer. writer.